the ability to sign up online uh, so that instead of doing it in person or emailing the outing leader or me to have you put on a list. So I know that it's going to be a little, um, it's, it's a change and it will be, um, you know, a little cumbersome in the beginning. I um, ask for your patience, but in the long run, it will be much better for, I think, everyone involved. Um, it's e it's going to be easier because all you will have to do is push a button and sign up. Um, if there's a payment, you'll be able to do that right there online. Um, what's really key is the information transfer should be more accurate. Um, in the past, when we were filling out like an outing sheet, someone would have to um, write their name, their phone number, and their email. And um, so the information transfer into... Um, into the outing database, um, there was always uh, the opportunity for um, input errors, um, either because of typing or just hard to read something. <clears throat> so that should go away as long as um, everyone's information in Club Express is accurate. So um, if it's not accurate, you'll probably get, be getting an email from me or somebody asking you to update that information. <clears throat> and um, it's going to be a lot easier for the um, outing leaders to manage um, their list because everything will be sent to them in an email with all the accurate information and whatnot. So, um, and I think it, it's not on here, but I think it's actually would be fairer for a lot of people um, <clears throat> to, um, to sign up online um, as opposed to um, doing it at a club meeting or other ways. Um, However, I, I do recognize that some people may have um, a harder time and I'm happy to work with you um, until we can um, get this so that's running smoothly. Um, we had a couple of hiccups already, but we're working through them. So um, the, the, sign up, um, the sign up process will be quite easy. You'll be able to um, really do it in three steps. Um, you, you know, find the outing. There's a number of ways of finding the outing. Um, it could either be on, on the online calendar, the outings page. Um, I didn't mention it here, but it will be in WinNots. And it could also be on the front, on the homepage of the, um, of our website. <clears throat> um, you click a button, it takes you to the registration um, slide. And then from there, you, um, you just kind of put in your information. Um, actually, most of the information is transferred because you're in the database. Uh, you don't have to worry about non-members signing up because um, that they won't have access to that information. So some of you, well, I'll get to that part. So why don't you go ahead and move to the next slide. All right. So this is an example. Um, if you haven't already seen this, um, it's the outings page. Um, you can see it. Um, the You can see the little um, uh, toolbar, if you will, where it says home, the club. Uh, newsletters, outings, and dates, um, right uh, where it says outings and dates. If you click on that, it'll take you to a page that has the, um, I think that's Hot Creek there, um, uh, picture, and it has a list of our outings. So um, I'm just going to circle the one that, uh, the one that's circled there is the one that I'm doing in the end of March, or uh, March 20th. So if you um, click on that, um, it will take you to the sign up page. So that's one so, way of getting there. Um, if you go to the next slide, um, that is the calendar. Um, actually, can you go back one slide, please? Um, if you look at where it says events, um, if you click on events, that will take, take you, give you the option to look at the calendar if you haven't already done that. And then now if you go to the next slide, please. Um, you see on the calendar, um, it's the kind of has the all the events that are happening um, in our club. So you can also click where it says Zero Nymphing Workshop, Yuba River, click on that. And that'll basically take you to the launch page to, um, to where you can sign up. So um, go to the next page, please. So just to kind of review, you can, you can click from where the calendar was, you can click from the outings page, you can click from the home page and you can click from WinNuts <clears throat> if the outing is ready to set up, is set up for signups. Then you'll be taken to this page and there's three basic pieces of information here that's really important. The first piece of information that you see is um, 
where the event's taking place. And if we have the address, um, you'll be able to pull up Google Maps and it'll give you directions. And um, so you can navigate um, using GPS to get there. That's um, <clears throat> basic information number one. Um, basic uh, or number two is the outing description. That's where you'll learn about what's in the outing. <clears throat> It'll also be in this section, you know, the difficulty um, uh, as to um, uh, what the um, what the waiting might be or any special things that take into consideration. Um, in this case, you'll notice that it's not really about catching fish. Um, it's more about practicing the technique and learning how to cast your own nipping and things like that and some demonstrations. So um, if we catch fish, it'll be a bonus. Um, actually, anybody that knows me that says that it's not about catching fish will probably not believe me, but that, that is the emphasis for this outing. And then um, the, the third thing is once you kind of look at everything here, um, you would go to where it says register now and push that button. Um, it just so happens in this case, there's no fee. Um, I don't have it pointed out here, but if you look at active members, it says no fee. Um, there will be cases where there might be fees. Um, the Kelsey uh, or the um, Kistler um, Bass Ranch is a $30 fee, I believe. Um, so it would be um, shown there. And, um, or, or it could, there could be guide fees or so on and so forth. But the, what we're gearing towards now is instead of having, um, in, in cases where we can do it, instead of having money sent to a, um, the, the outing leader, we're going to collect the money in the, um, using this tool and then um, send um, all the money to the outing leader so they can distribute the funds to the appropriate sources. Like um, if it's, there's um, an access fee or trespassing fee, guide fees, um, maybe we're providing flies and you have the, and th that might be part of the package, so on and so forth. Um, anyway, everything can be done through this tool. Um, so again, going to where um, number three is, where it says register now, um, you can click on that register now button and we'll just pretend that we clicked and go to the next slide. And then you have all this information here where um, you, it, it says that you um, are signed up for the event or you're signing up for the event and you're only signing up yourself. Um, you um, could have an opportunity to sign up a member, um, maybe like a secondary member. Um, you will not have the opportunity to sign up a non-member and a non-member will never get to this, this slide. So they have to have a password to get to this point. And it's the same password that you use to access the private information um, on the website. And then for this registration, it, it reminds you that there's no fee. Um, and once um, that's done, you would hit click, you would hit next and um, you're supposed to get an email confirmation that you, you're signed up. The outing leader will get an email confirmation that you signed up and you will be stored in the database. Um, and I think that's pretty much it. I don't think I have any more slides. I know that there was some people that were sending stuff in the chat. Um, most of these are just thank yous. So thank you. For I think, uh, Barry, um, one question came up. I, I think there was a question about, is there a wait list? And uh, yes, there is. Oh, yeah. So let me let me answer that. I didn't show that, um, but we um, <clears throat> we will have a wait list. Usually, what um, I've done is set up the wait list so it's the same number of people that the outing is allowing. Um, and then what will happen is if a slot opens up, or um, I'm still learning this piece, but if a slot opens up, or um, we decide to open um, add more slots then you'll get an email indi indicating that there's a um, opening for you. Um, and it will be on the first come, or it, it, will be, um, it will be like a first come first serve queue where the first person on the wait list is the one that um, gets to um, have first, first option to, um, to sign up or, or deny. You will have 24 hours to make that decision and then I'll go to the next person. Okay, uh, Bear, we probably need to move on. Yep. Uh, I, I, I'll, I'll add one thing. Uh, I was kind of a test case. I was able to sign up for four outings, took me about 15 minutes. Two of them involved credit card payments. 
So uh, it's very straightforward, um, relatively intuitive. Uh, it's very similar to other signups that we have uh, in our club using uh, Club Express. So, Barry, any last thing you want to add? Uh, oh, yeah, I guess there's one more slide. Um, <clears throat> then you get to the point where it says um, complete registration, and then that's when you get your email, and you should be good to go. So um, it, it really is pretty intuitive. If, um, if you're having trouble, let me know, and we'll, we'll figure it out. I'm yeah. learning, so I'm out, a little bit outside of my comfort zone. So yeah, we're, we're, we're also looking at a way to uh, record uh, what Barry just said, uh, maybe have it accessible off the website if anybody needs that extra help. But I think you'll find it pretty straightforward. Thank you.